do your long tones. Today I want to talk to you about how important long tones are because really like out of anything that you're ever going to practice, doing your long tones really well will be like the number one thing to help you sound so much better at playing the clarinet. So the purpose of long tones are sort of to like warm up your air and embouchure. A lot of times uh, people will think of warm ups as just just that, warming up like how you're playing, but really warm ups are so much more than that. The warm up is like your time to actually learn how to play the clarinet. Uh, when you're playing music, it's, it's more complicated and you have to be thinking about like what you're doing with the music. Warm ups are really, really simple exercises so you can think about what you're doing with playing the clarinet. And long tones are the most simple of all the exercises, and they're the best for improving your clarinet sound. What exactly do I mean by a long tone exercise? So long tones are really can be anything. The thing that counts is that you're playing notes for a long time, um, and you're thinking about the sound, so you're sort of experimenting with what you can do to get the best clarinet tone on each of the long notes that you're holding. Another key when you're doing your long tones is to really be conscientious of the sound. So really be like listening to the sound that you're getting back and making sure that you're, you're adjusting as needed and doing everything that you can to get the best sound possible. The long tones are like building your muscle memory for what your sound is. So you wanna make sure that every time you're doing it, you're getting the best sound possible. It's entirely possible to say that you've like done your long tones, but if you're just going through the motions and playing notes without thinking about how you're sounding, then you're not actually getting much benefit at all from them. And this happens a lot when we're practicing a lot of things. If we're just going through it, uh, the benefit is very, very minimal rather than going through it and really being picky and, and careful uh, about how everything's going. So let me do a little demonstration of going through long tones mindlessly versus mindfully. So to start, I'm gonna do just like the beginnings of a long tone uh, exercise, and I'm gonna do it more mindlessly. So I'm just like going through the motions, don't really care what I sound like, but I'm gonna play like some long tones, and sure, yeah, I'm gonna warm up. So I played like a bit of that, that long tone exercise and I played some notes and like maybe got a little bit warmed up but I wasn't really paying attention to the sound and the sound quality wasn't that great and I wasn't paying attention to how I was moving between the notes or how I was starting notes. There was so much more about the clarinet playing that could have been thought about and improved uh, even in just that little bit. So now I'm gonna do the same little bit of that exercise and I'm gonna try to be like really conscientious. So I might stop if I don't hear something that I like uh, and I might try it again to see if I can make it better. And the whole time I'm gonna be thinking about the sound and trying to sound as best I can, move through the notes as best I can uh, and just play everything really like perfectly. Because the exercise is so simple, I can really ensure that every detail is as good as possible. So you can hear that takes a little bit more time, uh, 
but the second time I went through it mindfully was so much better, and I was adjusting when I had things that didn't come out exactly how I wanted, I, w I would try again, especially getting that like first note to start, so by doing it that way, I practiced beginning notes really well, I practiced moving between notes really well, and I practiced having a really good sound on each of those notes. So now when I go to play music, uh, and I have to begin notes and move between notes and sound good like we do in music, um, I'll be able to do it more easily because I've practiced doing it when I'm doing the long tones and I've learned what I need to do to make it happen on the instrument. You can do literally any kind of long tone exercise, but as long as you're thinking about it and being conscientious and paying careful attention to what you're sounding like and how you're moving between notes, you're going to be getting a ton more benefit out of it than just going through the motions and doing some long tones to say that you've warmed up for the day and done your long tones. If you're not doing long tones, then you're really losing out on a lot of experience on mastering the sound of your instrument and mastering what you have to do with your embouchure and your air and your tongue position in order to get a really good sound. And you're losing out on building strength in the embouchure muscles, which do really need to be quite strong and take a bit of uh, effort to build up. So do long tones, do them mindfully, and you'll really start to see an improvement in your playing. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and find us on Facebook where you can like the Quick Start Clarinet Facebook page. And most importantly, look for the link in the description where you can officially join the Quick Start Clarinet community where we have tons of tips and tricks and some even uh, warm-up exercises that you can download when you first uh, sign up. So go in the description, do that, uh, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.